it's time for another video this is my xbox the original xbox um, i acquired this from my work we used to have a room where we had all these systems set up and no one ever used that room and then we decided to move to a new office and they said well let's lighten up the load before we pack up and they decided to put things for sale i paid very little for this i came with some third-party controllers that I, for some reason, have misplaced. And, um, I don't know, I'm happy. I didn't pay much. I think I paid $10 for it. Better than buying it online from someone you don't trust. I, I know this thing was not used very much, so I know it's probably... Well, it's kind of younger than it looks, we'll say. It's not overly worn. So, this is my collection. This is the first game. Uh, the collection is pretty weak right now. I've never hooked up the system. I haven't actively kind of sought out some games for it. If I find something, sure, I might add it to my collection, but there really hasn't been all that much lying around, so this is what I've got so far. Uh, this is NHL 06. This was actually, um, I guess I'll say, given to me by uh, someone called David that I work with. Um, I did give him some food in return. I cook a lot and made him a, a couple extra meals. Here's Dragon Ball Z Sagas. Um, I believe it's a fighting game. Or maybe not. Yeah, it looks like a, some kind of arena there. Um, never was a Dragon Ball Z guy. Didn't quite get the whole thing. But still pretty neat. I, everything from Japan seems to have a mystique for me, even though I've I don't know what what it is about it, but I'm just drawn into buying those games. Uh, here's a uh, Toe Jam and Earl Three Mission to Earth. I didn't know this existed, and I was at the store and I needed a little bit of filler, and I said, "Why not?" I have played the other ones, and they're kind of fun, uh, though quite different between the first and the second. Uh, the first one kind of complicated for me. I'm not. I'm not the best at understanding gameplay uh, and stuff like this. And this was uh, this is the last game I'm going to show. Uh, this is probably going to be one of my shorter videos. This I found at a, um, I guess it's a flea market, but it's an indoor flea market that's open all year, uh, only on Saturdays. It's actually factory sealed. It looks like. You see over here it says Xbox certification something of authenticity. That's what it says. Uh, Whatever, it's something like $6 for a sealed game. I don't like having something sealed because I really want to open it and try it because I do like potato games. Um, but I guess I'll keep it sealed right now. The collector in me wants to be a good collector and keep it sealed. If you can keep things sealed for as long as possible, I guess it's good in terms of the collection aspect of the, uh, of the systems. Um, but yeah, I would actually love to get myself a loose copy of this and give it a try because, uh, well, Tato came out with some pretty decent games back in the day. Um, so again, that's pretty much it. This is the system. There are the games. I don't have anything particularly interesting to say beyond that. Um, I will have another video for you shortly with, with a lot more material, though. Thank you. Bye.